Saints had a great win there last uh, season on Boxing Day. That's the last meeting, of course. Saints beat them in the FA Cup here, remember, at the start of March. But in the Premier League, West Ham are unbeaten in their last four visits here. And uh, in the last two seasons, it's finished nil-nil. Skamaka will pick it up. He might think it's about shooting, but now he's found Bowen. He dinks it right across the six-yard area, and Walker-Peters has a decision to make. I'm sure he meant to bring it down, but he did brilliantly the way he did actually keep it in. And Aribo's trying to hold off Paqueta, but he loses out. It was sloppy. Too slow. Aribo wanted too much time. Skamaka has it. Holds it up. Back into the penalty area. Shot wide. And West Ham starting early with Emerson getting himself in front of goal from the edge of the box and putting that wide at his left foot. Nil-nil here on BBC Radio Solon. We've had nearly 17 minutes in the Premier League on the radio and online via smart speakers. Elianusi again plays a good ball forward. Jay Adams trying to get in behind the defender. He's got the ball in the box. Oh, he hits it at Fabianski's foot. He has to take those chances. He didn't take one against Everton here. He hasn't taken this one. And this one was better than the Everton chance. Straighter onto the goal. Just had to find either side of the keeper and he's hit it too close to him. So plenty of arguments in the away end about the tussling between Adams but Saints get it back on the edge of the D deflected and maybe that's what Southampton needed Roma Perro celebrates runs away to the northern end with the Saints fans because the Frenchman has scored his first Premier League goal he might not get credited it because of the deflection but Saints fans won't care a jot they've taken the lead against West Ham in the 20th minute and hopefully Perro will get the goal that gives him his first Premier League strike in his second season. It's a big goal for Ralph Harsenhutl. It's a big goal for Southampton. Saints 1, West Ham 0. Yeah, and West Ham is complaining about, so I don't know what it is they are complaining about, but all 11 players went around the, the referee, but it... It's from the incident in the penalty area leading up to it. It's, it's the throw-in that goes in that's just kind of flicked backwards in no hope. Yeah, they want him to stop the game, don't they? And then he hasn't stopped the game, and Perro scored. West Ham looks... He they look heavier, they look slow, they look like they're not ready for the game. Got and we to catch up with you if you keep playing Thursdays but, and but Sundays But that's good for us, week. though. Yeah, you've got, you got to catch up with you, and you can see clearly there's, yeah. they're not happy with something. They're slow, and but we've got to watch up for that and take advantage of it. They, as have as last, they have won the last two Premier League, West Ham. They seem to have got over their early season problems, and they've got it now with Rice, and it's definitely more intense since that goal. Threaded through, good interception by Aribo, but it felt kindly for Skamaka, who gets it back, shoots! Oh, I thought it equalised. It's gone just wide, I think he thought it equalised. But he is quick to make his decisions. He pulls the trigger, no problem, Gianluca Skamaka, with the form he's in, and that's two now he's hit wide. That one from inside the D was a snapshot on the turn, that Bazunu would have struggled to get to as well. Oh, he wouldn't have caught that one. Southampton leading the Hammers, who have actually lost three of their four away games, 1-0, or 2-1 and 1-0. So all three of them to Everton, Chelsea and Forest, their first away game, by the odd goal. And their away win was by the odd goal, 1-0 at Villa. And there's your tight margins in the Premier League, like Southampton has suffered with those one-goal reversals against Man United. And Shea Adams has it! Brilliant save, Fabianski! Elianusi tries to chip it back in, and the goalkeeper smothered it as well. Brilliant work from the Polish international goalkeeper, who at 37 now saved that like a 20-year-old. That was brilliant. Emerson is free, always free. He has so much time, and he puts a bad cross in. But if he puts a good cross in, we're in trouble. And, that, and that's what our formation is kind of doing to us. So who's got... So is, that yeah, a, I, I, is that a sacrifice or someone get across? No, no, if you're under pressure, you need to get either, either, either get your right wingman down and help out, or you need to stop that pass from going out wide. So a rebo needs to get there, you're saying, or one of them if you're yeah, shot. Yeah, exactly. Right, OK. Now, good ball for Skamaka and Bazunu came a long way off his line, and Bella Koch out, not sure how he's got that, but then still the header comes in, and it's wide from Paqueta at the angle. He did the right thing, the Brazilian headed it across the six-yard area, but he's missed the post, and after making that brilliant interception, the bad news for Southampton is Armel Bella Kotchap, he's down injured, having stretched to stop Skamaka getting in behind the defence. He did brilliantly to use his pace to recover, but he hasn't got up since. And West Ham coming close to scoring then while the German was stricken. Pistol so. off a little bit of Gioletta Sarr is going to have to come on here with... Uh, yeah, well, he's, I mean, they've got a good experienced man on the bench, that's for sure. A 26-year-old Croatian international on paper. Yeah. He probably thinks on paper he should be in the team anyway. You yeah. The four centre-back halves, he'll be the one with the most pedigree, I'd, I'd suggest. But 
can't keep these two youngsters out of the team till now anyway, the summer signing. Now, Saints trying to come forward, and again, Adams is in the penalty area. Plenty of claret shirts in front of him, holds it up well, gives it to Elliot, who's seen it, who almost squeezed it past Fabianski, who makes another fine save. Loads to his right, just inside the right-hand post, and he did well to hold on to it, Fabianski, good move. Game opening up, Kufal down the right, looks up midway inside the Saints, off, finds Paqueta, who's dropped off the front of volleys, and that's Pizzuno's first real save of note in the game. Two-hander away to his right from Paqueta's volley, and that was way too easy again for West Ham. Just, and Paqueta did well, because the defenders went back into their box and he stayed where he was. Skucek, but they've crowded out of it. Again, Elianusi doing good work in the middle of the park, and he collects it once more, but he's given it away this time. Showed way too much of it to Declan Rice. Looking for something a bit more complicated when they could do something more simple. <laughs> Referee again gets in the way for West Ham. Not as tellingly as he did in the first half when Perro scored. As Ben Rama tries to drive to the byline here, has support behind him. They ignore the cross, it comes back for Rice. Thought that should have come in then, but then Rice gets a 1 2, he's going to unleash this. Right footed, brilliant shot, and no one closed him down. And Declan Rice gets West Ham back into the game in the 64th minute. The England man shoots true and shoots low past Gavin Bazunu, and the pressure's finally told. Saints 1, West Ham 1. And then Bowen, he could have fed Rice then, but didn't. Found Kufal, he saw Rice's run forward, Declan Rice breaking into space, did brilliantly, and now he finds Aaron Creswell, drives down the left-hand side and finds Saeed Ben Rama, the Algerian will line up Walker Peters here, cuts inside onto his right foot, squares it back to Rice, 22 yards out, deflects wide, corner, more shouts for a handball, three in a row from West Ham, these four Saints players still waiting to get on to help try and turn the tide. Looks like it came off Salisu's chest, I can't really tell. It honest. is kind of chest, might have touched his hand, but it's not a handball. It's another one that's waved away. Adozi has Declan Rice close to him, gives it back to Stuart Armstrong on the left wing, level with the edge of the box, crosses early towards Mara. Oh, it just goes behind Ward Prowse, how's your luck when you just want to tee it up and get the shot in? Walker Peters has done well, and in fact, Paqueta's given up on that, he's spun away from him and Paqueta's gone and fallen over. Referee's not stopping the game here, Diallo's going to hit it from distance, and it was dipping, but not early enough, but at least that's just swung a bit of momentum back in Saints' favour with a positive approach and a dipping shot from Diallo over the bar. Salisu heads it, will come out in the centre circle, Ward Prowse with a good ball, Mara, nice first touch to Adozi. Now Saints attacking Adozi, chops it back onto his right foot, looks up, he's going to hit it, Fabianski can't hold it, he parries it, and then it's tucked out of play for a Saints corner. Oh, but the flag's up against Mara. But a dozy shot still stands, and Saints needed that. Just a change, like I said. Yeah, but... It... Keep West Ham honest. Here's West Ham, last chance, Rice. Perhaps to Lanzini, can he get the shot away from the edge of the D? He can't, and then he plays a terrible ball. A dozy tries to clear, that's half blocked by Lanzini, so Saints can't get out. And the referee says, that's it, it's a draw. Saints fans booing. Maybe that's more about the recent run than today. There's a few boos. I don't think that's a bad point against a good side.